My name is Alex Cecilio. I'm a graphic artist, and I'm going to show you how to make something look glowing hot in Illustrator. So what I've done here is actually created some ellipses, and just basically just um, you go to the left on your toolbar, and you select the ellipse tool, and and there's a little shortcut. You can just push L, and you know that you'll have your ellipses ready to be made. So I've pre-made a couple of different ones. And glowing hot is really, um, it's a tricky effect to, to really master. So what I've done here is made a couple of different ways that glowing hot could look. Because um, the hottest fire is blue, so I figured maybe we could add some hot fire and some really hot fire. So I'm going to select the large circle around the smaller one and go to effect and you go to blur and gosh and blur and you're gonna want to zoom out a little bit and what this does is it just adds an intense blur and I want mine to be pretty intense so I'm gonna make mine at 70 pixels and already you've got that kind of glowingness, but then you're going to, it's not going to look glowing until you've got the middle part blurred out too. And this one can be less. I'm going to make that at 40. And so there you've already got your glowing. But suppose maybe that doesn't look glowing to you, so we'll try it in the other, in the other way in reverse. So we'll do the exact same thing. We'll go to Gaussian Blur. We'll have this at 70. And we'll do the same thing here. And we'll make that 40. And so, and then there's another method you can do it, and this is a little bit quicker, but it's not as exact. You can also go again to bl Gaussian Blur and have both of your circles selected. And you can do it at 60, and it'll make kind of that same similar glowing effect, but it'll look more blended. Um, and, and it doesn't always have to be with circles. I mean, the, the trick is really to have a big shape and then a smaller shape on the inside. And then you're going to just blur that shape, both of them, so that you've got that glowing hot kind of effect. I'll show you by adding some blur to that. And that is how you make something look glowing hot in Illustrator. I'm Alex Cecilio. Thank you very much.